boys in here today. Can you keep the noise down a bit over there? I'm trying to make a YouTube video over here. Sorry, mate. We'll keep it down. Ah. And can you tell that woman to put her clothes back on? I put that pole up just to support the roof. No, that's it. I'm sorry, you're all going to have to go. You're making far too much noise and you're getting rowdy. I keep a respectable pub over here. I don't know. Come on, off you go. A new love. You better put a coat on. You'll get arrested walking down the street like that. Hi there, and welcome back to my shed pub. Here to make uh, another video today, give you an update on the pub. So, I'm just going to get myself another pint. That looks nice, bit lively, but should settle okay. Oh, gonna get that topped up straight away. I don't mind a head on it, but that is a bit big. That's a better pint. It's got a bit cold up north. I've had to put me, me big cardi on. We won't mention the north-south divide. I think we know whose beer is best. Beautiful. Now over the last uh, couple of months, me and my wife, we've spent quite a lot of time up here. Actually, an awful lot of time. We've even got our own slippers up here now. Spend uh, quite a few evenings here. We sort of quickly changed from it was summer and it was too warm in here, then it was autumn, now it's winter and it's got really cold. So I've, I have had to adapt the pub to the colder conditions. Um, that's what I'm going to show you in a little bit, what I've had to do to, to keep warm, etc. You'll probably notice Got some uh, different pictures up. Uh, I don't like to stay with the same thing. Uh, I like to change stuff. Uh, that's what I like doing. It, it gives me something to do to to change the decor and decor and that. I used to have, if you remember, the beer towels and the trays. All it is, I've swapped stuff round a bit. Uh, Got these new pictures up, uh, the beer towels are okay, but perhaps it's a bit nicer to see a few young ladies scattered around the wall. And it gives me something to do to change everything. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly show you around, um, basically, what new pictures I've put up, etc. 
just have a, a last swig. Quickly show you around these new pictures I've put up. As you can see, I've got two two large pictures really filling that that back wall. And I felt they sort of fitted in with my thoughts of what a pub and a bar is about. Drinking, listening to music and having a laugh. Right combination of characters there. You've Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, James Dean and Elvis. And the same little group over there. They look like they're having a rare old time. But I thought those two pictures really fitted in well. Then as we look to the back wall, I thought that would brighten the place up. Uh, there are a few actresses from the silver screen of the 1950s uh, Hollywood. Some nice looking ladies there. And then just coming round, that's actually the fridge. But as you can see, we've got a new lady who is now looking after the snacks. Her name is Jane. And that is all you're going to see of her. I've had to Velcro those uh, bags of peanuts uh, on. So they are not for the public then. They're staying put. And you're not seeing any more of Jane at the moment. Now behind there is the fridge. And that is where the beer is kept. Yesterday I put a new beer on. And it is so cold in here. I've had to do a few modifications basically to keep the, the beer a little bit warmer. So just going to show you a bit of video. I took yesterday um, installing this uh, new box of beer. Just gonna put a new beer on. At the same time, I'll show you the heater, etc. I've put in the fridge. So this is the fridge I keep my beer in. In summer it was used as a fridge and it, it kept the beer cool. The problem I've got now, we're down to probably about 3 degrees C outside. I want my beer about 11 degrees C so I'm having to heat it up now. This poor fridge doesn't know when it's a fridge or an oven. So what I've put in, i put 45 watt tubular heater that's wired back to the inkbird thermostat down there so in the most of the winter it's going to be kicking in just to keep the beer at a nice 11 degrees now normally I'd been using a VTOP connector because I'm getting the beer from Kellam Island Brewery they put it straight in a like a plastic poly pin with a different tap on so I'm just going to connect that pipe straight to the beer. I'll show you that in a bit. We'll get the beer in first. Uh, 20 litres of beer, about 20 kilos. Oh, I had to carry this all the way up the garden. So that's the new beer in. That's my thermostat. I'm just going to get it down inside the box, touching the beer itself in the bag. That'll uh, maintain the temperature. So I'll bring the camera in closer and try and show you how we connect this pipe. It won't go on at the moment because it's cold. I'll show you what I do. So this pipe is three eighths of an inch internal diameter and it's a very tight fit onto this tap here so to, to get it on 
First of all, I soften it in this boiling water. So when I twist it, so I've got to put a bit of twist in it as well. So hopefully that so that's gone on the tap and I can open that tap now. Just gonna twist the pipe. So that's the beer connected. Just to reinforce it, I'm going to put a Jubilee clip on. Certainly don't want any beer over my nice carpet. So I'll check that, but that, that should form a nice uh, watertight seal you could say so that's very easy way of simply connecting the beer and i think if i wanted no i'm leaving it there uh that jubilee clip will foul on the back so i'll leave it there and that that's all set up now uh just gonna leave it uh i would say 24 hours to clear Now I know I said leave it for 24 hours. I lasted about half an hour and I had to try it. And it had cleared, it, w it was clear. So very impressed with the service at uh, Kellam Island Brewery. I have tried several other beers. But yeah, let's say a box of beer is gonna last 14 days. If you have it delivered, it's gonna take Two days delivery, a day to clear, so you've lost three days. With my local brewery, I order it, say in the morning, he delivers it in the afternoon, and that evening you could be drinking it, because it will have cleared. And he only charges, I think he charges £55 for 20 litres of Easy Rider. I've looked at various others, and they're usually a bit more, and then you've got to put a £10 postage on top. So say they were £55, you put a tenner on top, that's 65 and it ain't going to last so long. So I've decided to sort of stick with my local brewery, sort of support my local brewery and help them, if I could say, uh, through this uh, difficult time. They are still brewing, and I'm still drinking. So, yeah, support your local uh, breweries and that. But I think uh, at £50, £55, it's a, it's a very good price. And I have, like I say, adapted this to so I can just slot it on a bit easier. I'll just, uh, just finish this off, I think. It goes down too easy. And this is too comfortable, isn't it, where you can sit next to the pump. I don't even have to get up. I'm just going to let that settle a bit. So four, as you can see, it's a quarter pint pump. So four pulls and you'd normally fill a pint up. Now, I'll tell you a story. They do do, this is a Easy Rider, 4.2. Sort of beer 
that I like. A nice pale ale, not too strong. You could drink that all evening. If I'm sat in here, me and the wife, Saturday night, we, uh, I might drink halves. I like pulling the beer and you get a fresh half all the time. So uh, I tend to drink halves. But you can drink halves right through the night. Just uh, finish this off. That looks a nice pint. So where were we? Oh yes, so that's Easy Rider. My perfect beer for me. Now they do do another one. They do Pale Rider. 5.2%. I know it doesn't sound much more, but it is. And it's the same price. So I say a lot of other places, if a 52 percent beer they'd be wanting 60 70 quid for 20 litres so I have I've had a couple of these 20 litres of a pale rider but oh god you notice the difference I've got a couple of stories I'm going to tell you them all but I think the the last time I was drinking the pale rider I don't know if we'd been out, I think it was around November 5th and we'd had uh, a fire and all our clothes were smoky and that. And I decided I'd put the washer on before we went to bed so it would come on in the morning when we, when we got up it would be done. So I put the washer on, I ain't told my wife anything and uh, about 6 o'clock in the morning she, she woke up and said, have you put the washer on? I said, yeah. She said, what's that clunking noise? I said, I don't know, it's probably just my jeans going round. Anyway, I went down. Yeah, I'd washed my jeans. I'd also left my mobile phone in the pocket and I'd washed my uh, mobile phone. So I, I got a Sony Xperia. It was supposed to be water, um, watertight. Watertight, waterproof, waterproof, yes. So, you'd have thought it would have withstood a two-hour wash, but it hadn't. It still worked a bit. Um, it's actually, one thing it wouldn't do is if it did all the microphones in so and the speakers, so it wouldn't ring. And I was quite happy with that, a phone that doesn't ring. It, it quite suited me. But I decided to get another phone. Now, I'm not going to tell you too much about it. This is a... It come under the head and a heading of rugged, rugged, it's a rugged phone this, weighs quite a bit, I'll tell you about this when we were out camping, because I've tried to combine in one phone, I don't use a phone, no, I don't ring anybody up, nobody rings me up, I use that for looking at YouTube, looking at eBay, playing music from, and that's it really. Just have to have a... That goes down so well. I might need to put it up a degree, I think. Uh, it felt a bit chilly, that. I think it needs uh, probably bring it up to 12 degrees, something like that. Where were we? So the the phone. Oh yes. Yeah, so I'll I'll try and cover this in a, a YouTube in a, a wild camping video. But I've tried to combine a mobile phone, which you need when you're wild camping, and it entertains you at night. A GPS locates, I think, four satellites. The four, like, Russian. China, American, he locates all the satellites, put some maps on, that should do me for the GPS. And the other thing is a, a battery bank. The, ba the battery so bloody big, it's 8,000 8, milliamp hours, milliamp hours, so it should do as a battery bank, so I can charge my GoPro, other stuff up from this phone. But I, I'll talk about that in the... Uh, a wild camping video but you can see how dangerous 
pale rider is 5.2 percent you drink it and you drink oh dear yeah so yeah i am wary of it i think i'm going to stick to 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 pale rider right time to move on i think we'll go up the other end of the pub now right we're at the other end of the pub now now the temperatures have really dropped the probably our nighttime temperatures are down to probably three degrees three to five degrees i know it's not that cold compared to some places in the world but uh, it's really made a difference in here. You come in, I might come up at uh, tea time, and it is really cold, and it takes a good while to warm up. What I've been using, so simple. All it is, an uh, electric fan heater. Um, 20 quid, something like that. Uh, it does take a while to warm up, so I might, I might click that on. But half an hour, it gets you up to about 60, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, God, 20 degrees C. And then when you've been sat in a bit, I've got a little thermometer here, and I, I check the temperature. Hopefully at Christmas, I might get one I can put on the wall. But you get it, you, we get it up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that? It must be about 25 degrees C. Oh, it's beautiful then. So, yeah, you've got the music on, which we're going to look at. And it's nice and warm. You've got your beer. Fantastic it is. So, yeah, for the heating, it's just a simple electric fan heater. It's a little bit noisy, but you can drown that out with the music. Well, I've just got to nip to the toilet now. Nothing has changed with the toilet, so it's still down at the house. I can't, I can't sort that out, really. Basically, you need a good bladder. If you've got a two to three pint bladder, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. But I'm off down there for a sec, and then uh, I'll leave you looking around at the, the pub. I'll be back in a sec. And we're going to look at the, the music system then. See you in a bit. Hope you enjoyed that little look round. Just get myself another pint. I think somebody keeps pinching my beer. I just leave that to, to settle a bit. So we're going to talk about the music side of things now. That transforms this place. As it is now, there's no atmosphere. Once you put the music on, fantastic. I obviously, I can't play any music because I get done for copyright. Seems ridiculous and it, it ruins it in a way, but I can't play any music. But I'll try and show you the... The music system best I can. Let's get this top two.
So, I initially, just to get some music on, I installed this simple player, a couple of ceiling speakers, a couple of speakers underneath the bar. And it was good, it gave you music. But you want to upgrade in that. So I bought, I can remember the name, it's a Yamaha RN303D. I think that's DAB. Um, that's like, a, it's a 100 watt amplifier, but a receiver as well. You know, remember I told you we've got a Ethernet cable all the way up here. Got a router under there, so this is now connected to the computer. At the same time, I went in the loft and I found this. It's my old Akai um, record deck, vinyl record deck. 1985 uh, vintage, that. Works fantastic. So we installed that, got it all connected to the internet. And it has transformed this place. As it is now, there's no music and there's no atmosphere. Once you get this going, oh, it's fantastic. You, it's such an unbelievable place. I'll try and, I'll tell you a bit more about this when I bring the camera in. But because... It's connected to the computer. You can basically... You can get any music you've got on the computer. You can play that. Not that I've actually had to do that. You can get all your internet stations. Because you, you are connected to the, the World Wide Web. And the other thing, which I use quite a bit, I like where I don't have to decide what to play I like listening to the radio so I put the dab radio on and you've got pretty you've got it's got a remote so you can flick through the dab radio get the adverts on but you can swap from station to station just see what comes up what I'll do now I'll tell you outside for those that haven't seen the outside view you'll see what the uh, shed pub looks like and I'll just show you where I fitted the dab radio and a uh, little bit of security lighting I've put up we'll just pop outside so we're just outside the pub shed now for anybody who hasn't seen my pub shed before that's what it looks like from the outside just an old hut who would know what really lies inside there? You can see me dab aerial. That's up on the corner there. Gives me great reception on the, the dab channels. Another thing I did up on the greenhouse, just on the ridge, you'll probably make out I've got a security light. So that comes on if anybody's in this area and really lights it, lights it up, uh, just a bit of security. I'm just gonna put a camera up at some stage and then I, I think I've got it covered. Now that security light, well it did sort of backfire in a, a little way, because I, I like to pop up here at four o'clock, just check the beer, you know what I mean, make sure it's uh, okay and up to temperature, and nobody would know I was here. Now, bump, the light comes on and my wife knows exactly where I am. I did try and crawl up the side of the greenhouse and it sort of screened me, but once I opened the door and popped in, bump, the light come on, so I might have to work on that one. But it is useful for when, when you come out at night, it, uh, it's not pitch black, it like lights the area up and uh, it sort of helps you stagger back down to the house. Anyway, bit chilly out here, I think we'll get back inside that nice warm pub. Oh, cold out there. Now, apart from 
Drushy Dab Radio. He's got uh, you can blue right. You can Bluetooth anything from your phone. So any music you got on your phone, you can Bluetooth it here. The other thing he's got, he sort of he's got he's got Spotify built in. So yeah, I've never really used Spotify before. My wife and the rest of the family have got it, and I'll probably pay for it. But I, I never used it, and they've, they've added me on now, so I have now got Spotify. So I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning about it. But I found Sp it is fantastic, really. I mean, this... So to take a lot tech, high tech stuff and the music systems we have now are unbelievable. If only I knew how to use them. With Spotify, I can I just click my phone. I can create my own playlist, pick my music, and what we tend to do, we come up here and then I say, well, you can put your music on for half an hour. And then I'll put mine on. So you, you, you click your phone and it, it plays it through here. It, it is fantastic. So we, we have, supposedly we have half an hour each. My, my wife doesn't seem to understand that. She tries to monopolise it with her choice of music, which is probably 1960s or something like that. I have a very varied choice. Uh, I like the modern stuff and a bit of the old stuff. I like the 1940s. So it is a bit of a conflict, but supposedly you have half an hour and you play your music. This is a pretty powerful thing, 100 watts per channel. We don't have it on full volume because I think we'd be disturbing the neighbours then. But I've turned it up and it blew the speaker covers off. There are only cheap speakers associated with this. So I bought these little beauties. These are, again, Yamaha, not because of that, but it just seemed they were a good buy. These are, I can't remember, NC600s or something, but they are 121, I think they're about 120 watt speakers. So these are to go into the ceiling space up there. I have got a few problems where... The depth is about four inch. I have built it out and got three. So I've got to build it out another inch. But they should transform it. They are another little job I've got to do. And I enjoy doing it. So that is, I've got those to connect. Hopefully next time we're in here, I'll have these new speakers in. But yeah, it's, what this little machine can do is amazing. I, oh God, was it? When I got my new phone. Got my new phone, right? I was sat in the kitchen and I was trying to put all my new stuff on and program it and pressing buttons. And I, I ain't, I ain't, I, I would say I'm um, technically challenged. Not, te not technically, what is this? Um, oh, there's a word for it. But yeah, I do struggle with modern technology. So I am sort of modern technology challenged. And give me a mobile phone, and I'm lost. So I sat in the kitchen. I'm starting to probe, put the new stuff on, and all that with my new phone. And then uh, I pressed a button, and we'd got this speaker, this Bluetooth speaker in the kitchen. I started playing. I said, "Oh, there's music. That's my music. That's coming out of the kitchen." And I must have pressed something else. I said, "Look at this sound wave. I can see it bouncing up and down." And we opened the kitchen door, and these were blasting out at the top of the garden. Hundred watts of music were. Boom. And unknown to me, from my phone, sat in the house, possibly 50 metres away, I'd switched it on, and it was playing. And we opened the door, and oh, the noise coming from the top of the garden. And uh, yeah, it's uh, so you can operate this remotely from your phone. What we have thoughts of doing in summer, you can gonna buy a music cast, I think, speaker, 
put it in the garden, get your phone out, and then you could put perhaps vinyl, whatever you want on there, Spotify, and with your mobile phone, just play the music in the garden. Isn't that fantastic? Modern technology. Where does it all go? Time for another. So we'll, we'll have a look at the, the record deck now. You've got a thing that uh, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, that is where you got your music from. There was no internet, no streaming, nothing like that. If you wanted music, it was a record like we've we've got here piece of vinyl record now to connect this to this probably modern amplifier I've had to use something called a preamp I don't fully know what it is it's underneath there put the cables in there brought them out to the amp and I assume it, pre, it boosts the signal to the digital amplifier I have no idea what it does but it transforms the sound. You do not get any crackling. You put you know you put your LP on and it went. <laughs> this doesn't. It just comes out like normal, clear digital music. So really, really, really fantastic. You can play your vinyl records. So vinyl, it's a great way of playing music. It, it's just a little bit different. It's nice to I should put a record on and listen to what you've put on. Now my, I ain't got many records. My wife has got loads of records. I think we found probably about a hundred in the loft LPs. And the thing with the vinyl record, they include all the words. So you've got all the lyrics of every song. But a slight problem is here, my wife knows all those words. So for every one of her records or anything she puts on, she knows all the words. And she insists on singing along with them. So we come up here and not only do we listen to the so-and-so group, but we have a backing group in the background because my wife likes to sing along. So, we've had to have a certain sign put up. Not that she pays any of those rules though. <sighs> Getting a bit warm in here now. Might have to take my cardi off soon. Now, this pub, it should have a warning. It is a very dangerous place. A very dangerous place. It holds you. You come up here, you get the heater on, get it up to about 25 degrees C, 75-ish. Uh, Get a music on, that transforms it, so you're warm, you're cosy, the music's on. You're back in the 1980s or the 70s or the 60s. It's, it's just, it's heaven. It's got to be described as the nearest thing to heaven. You've got beer an arm's length away. Good music. What would you? What? 
what more do you want? So, I think we can say it brings this sort of session in the pub to an end. What can I tell you? I have got another video planned. Um, I'm hoping to get it out before Christmas. It's, I have to see how things go. There's a... Uh, time gets taken up with other things. If I can get it out the week before Christmas I will do and that video is basically a video on how I make a video. Where I get my ideas from there may be a clue there. How I sort of plan the video more that side of it and if I can work it out, we'll look at the film editor uh, and I can show you just a brief bit how, how I'd go about editing a video, just, just to give you a basic idea really. So that is the, uh, the plan for the next video. I know everybody's in lockdown and very few people can go about their normal lives, so I've tried to put couple of extra videos are more than I would basically just to keep people entertained and I appreciate your comments I'll I try and answer them I can't answer them all and like this one if I'm working on the other video I won't have so much time so I'll probably put little hearts that says I've read your comment and I appreciate it uh, but quite often especially this one it's just a run of the mill a little extra it's getting up to Christmas, let's have a drink in the pub. So you probably get a lot of little hearts on this one. So I think that covers it all. I've now... Oh yeah, it might look like I've had a few beers and I've had quite a bit to drink in 40 minutes. It's taken me... I've been here probably four hours. It takes a lot of setting up. I've got two lights. Every, every little clip is like a separate scene. You set it up and then you'd film it and you think, oh, I've left the heater on and you've got background noise. Or I've not set the camera going and the more of these you have, the more difficult it gets. So it has taken me there. I reckon I've been here four hours. So it's, uh, it's well spaced out. The drink, that is. The drink. So, I've got to appear sober, wander down to the house and cook tea now. I think it's a pretty easy one. I've only had a couple, so I'll be okay, I'll be fine. So, if I can thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you on the, the next video soon. Bye then. Beautiful.